Hi, I'm going to demonstrate a strategy for finding sales data on individual products. Uh, as several people have discovered, uh, sometimes it's hard to find that data. Uh, a lot of our regular searches turn up information about companies, usually large companies, but not necessarily the individual product that, that you're interested in. So here's a strategy that might help. I'm going to start out by uh, looking at the, the Marketing Information Research Guide and clicking on the Products tab. Now there are a couple databases that we can use this strategy in. I would recommend starting out in Business Source and then possibly trying this Newspaper Source Plus. Our example is going to be right now in the Business Source database. So I'll click on that. Okay, and we're taken to a search screen. Now I'm going to type in uh, the name of my product and for this example I'm going to use Crest Toothpaste. So I'm just going to type in Crest and on the second line I'm going to put in the word Toothpaste. And on the third line, I'm going to put in some word that gets at that idea of sales. So it might be the word sales. It might also be something like market share or you know, some other term that maybe you come up with that gets at that idea of sales. Um, and you might play around with these terms and combinations of terms in different searches. That's always part of our research strategy is to play around with the terms and different combinations. Now, before I hit search, I'm going to do something that maybe we haven't seen before. Um, rather than searching just the default search, which will look at titles of articles, abstracts of articles, maybe certain keywords that have been used to identify articles, we are going to change that default to search all text. So that is going to search the actual text of every online article in this particular database, which is going to be a much bigger search than the default search. So I click All Text and then Search. Okay, and I get a list of results, over a thousand results in this case. What I'm looking for are um, articles that look like they might be promising that are not, you know, too old. Um, as I look at this, just looking at this first one, if I look at the title of this article, I'm going to click on it. If I look at the title, if I look at some of the words describing this article, if I look at the abstract of this article, there's really nothing there about Crest Toothpaste. So in one of our standard searches, using the default search, I would not have retrieved this article. However, if we go into the actual article, it's got the word Crest in there or it wouldn't have come up in my search. So I'm going to go into the actual article. Here's a link to the full text over here on the left. And here is that actual article. I can read through it looking for the word or usually there's some way to search for a particular word within the article. So I'll do that here. And it takes me to the occurrence of the word crest. Uh, this is talking about uh, crest in terms of market share, which is good data. If I scroll down a little bit below here, I actually see a table that talks about sales data for Crest and some of its competitors. Uh, so that's data that I would not have come up with um, doing just a standard search. Using that all text, searching the all text feature um, really makes the difference in this particular case. So try this strategy, see if it works for you. Good luck.